What is good everybody, today we will be taking over Genoa and conquering Italy. If you enjoyed the video drop me a like, subscribe for more content, let's get into the video. Genoa are actually the oldest Italian football club and won the championship as recent as 1924. So let's see if we can't return them to their glory days and get them another one. As we check in on our homegrown talent, it is Dennis Marino, 17 years old, 70 rated central midfielder. He is one for the future. So I'm just going to give you a run through of all of the players I put on the transfer list and up for loan. And there's the team. Let's make some signings. So we start off with Jackson Uleka, 68 rated striker. He looks ideal. Next up is Muhammad Ali Kamara, a solid centre half. Next we have Miles Robinson, another centre half, Mattia Viviani, a replacement CDM, and Vital, another centre half. Next up we have the Argentinian duo, Lutaro Morales and Alan Valesco? I've probably butchered both their names, but they are going to be crucial for us. That's it for transfers. Let's see how we're doing at the halfway point. Halfway through the season, we are in 16th place. We've played 17 matches, we've had 4 wins, 5 draws and 8 losses. 17 points from 17 matches is not ideal. With some decent growth from the lads, hopefully we can have a better second half to this season. So let's go find out. At the end of season 1, we do finish in 16th place. 11 wins, 8 draws and 19 losses, 41 points. We had a mediocre second half of the season. Let's hope we can work on that and have a better second season. Jackson Maleka was our top goal scorer, Dennis Moreno with the assists, and Mattia Perrin had 8 clean sheets. Not the best first season, but the few signings here and there, I hope we can have a better second season. Season number two, and to kick it off, we've been given 15 million. Let's get some transfers. So the first sign-in is Elgif, El Elgif, Elmas. Either way, he's a crucial central midfield signing. Hopefully, he'll do bits. Then we pick up a bit of a weird one because we don't actually have wing backs in our formation. But Fischalco is an ex-player for Genoa when he was younger, so I figured bring him back. We're going to play him at right mid eventually. Now we pick up an Argentine, Nicolas Dominguez, to partner Elmez in the midfield. That's the squad, let's get halfway through that season.
halfway through this season we're actually doing worse than we were last year in position but we've got one more extra point so with some growth for the players hopefully we have a better second half of the season let's find out at the end of the season we finish in 15th with 11 wins 11 draws 16 losses that means we had eight draws in the second half of the season so i mean it's better than losing Top goal scorer was Maleka, most assist was Mourinho, 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 and Morales had nine clean sheets. It's definitely been a slow start here at Genoa, but let's get into season number three and see if we can't change that. Season number three, the budget we have been given is 17 million. Let's get some players in. So the first sign-in is Matteo Lovato, another centre-back. I was expecting a bit more growth from the boys, but we didn't get it. Then we're going to bring in Stefan El Shuari, which is the similar to Pashalko. He's an ex-player. We thought I'd bring him back, you know. Bit of story in that. So then we bring in a few free agents, you know, squad depth. we got Appia, Orgard and Barassi. So we've got a few minor changes here and there, but let's see how we're doing halfway through the season. Halfway through the season, we are in ninth place, seven wins, six draws, four losses. That is more like it. Let's improve on this and get higher up the table. We finished the season in 10th place, 15 wins, 10 draws, 13 losses. It's an improvement on last season, but we did drop in form in the second half. Top goal scorer was Maleka, top assist, Marino, and eight clean sheets for Morales. This season was better, let's work on it. Here comes season number four. And in season number four, we've been given 31 million to play with. So we start off with Karama, Bastoni and what I believe to be David Silva's regen. That's the team. Let's see how we're doing halfway through the season. Halfway through the season, we are in second place. 11 wins, 8 draws, 2 losses just behind Napoli. This is where we want to be. No more changes. Let's see the end of the season. At the end of the season, we do finish in third position. 22 wins, 10 draws, 6 losses. I was so hopeful that we were going to win it then. But we move on and we win it next season. Top goal scorer was Mjoleka. Top assists was Elmas. And 14 clean sheets for Morella. This season just proves that we have it in us. Let's get into season five. And in season five, we have been given basically 70 million to play with. The first addition to the team is Christos Solis. He is a great upgrade on El Shuari who was killing it but Solace is just better. Then we bring in Douglas Louise which is going to do us for this half of the season. Let's see how we do. Halfway through the season, we are in second place once again, just behind Juventus. 11 wins, 5 draws, 1 loss. Let's see if we can't capitalise.
third place once again. We keep bottling it, just call us Tottenham. 22 wins, 12 draws, 4 losses. Mjoleka's top goal scorer, top assist was Marino and Morella's 16 clean sheets. I'm just afraid of history repeating itself again. Let's get into season number 6. In, no in season number 6 we have been given 86 million. Sign a huge transfer in Messi, it's regen, but we also pick up Hakimi. So, along with plenty of free agent signings for squad depth. Let's just see how we're doing halfway through the season. I wonder if it's gonna repeat itself. History I'm talking about. Halfway through the season, we are in first position. 14 wins, two draws, one loss, 44 points. Please just stay in this position. And at the end of the season, we do finish in first position. 30 wins, 6 draws, 2 losses, 96 points, only 4 points off being Centurions. But that is their first win of the championship since 1924, or the 1923-24, I did check it and I was correct. So I hope you enjoyed the video, let's get into that team. Top goal scorer was Alan Velasco. Assist was Dennis Moreno and Morales had 21 clean sheets. If you made it this far, comment watermelon. I really appreciate you all. Catch you in the next video.